men and women, boys and girls, their difference, their different emotional needs, and we cope with stress differently. In the workplace, you know, differences between men and women. Now, the old-fashioned thinking is that men could do the job better. That's not relevant today anymore. We know that women can do the job, if you want to say equal, if not better, than men. At certain jobs, women are going to be better at. Certain jobs, men are going to be better at. But a woman can learn to do anything a man can do to a great extent, and a man can learn to do anything a woman can do to a great extent. So the question of are women competent to be in the workplace is out of date now. They've proven themselves. But there's still the challenges of good communication, cooperation, and having the insight into understanding men and women's different emotional needs. As a leader in the workplace, I have way better skills to create a team of people that are cooperating, collaborating, feeling valued, feeling respected, feeling honored, because I take into consideration their different needs to cope with stress, to feel good about themselves, and to get the support that will allow them to have a better personal life, as well as to be more effective in the workplace. From one perspective, we should treat everybody equally with respect, but everybody's different, and everybody has different talents and skills. Uh, you know, suddenly we've got jobs to do and now everybody's going to take turns doing those jobs. No, some people are going to be better at some jobs, other people are going to be better at other jobs. That's very obvious. So when it comes to men and women, that's not the deciding factor. But when it comes to how to interact with a woman so that she feels valued and appreciated and honored and respected, there's extra insights that can provide that support, whether it be a coworker, your boss, your employee, a customer, someone you're marketing to. You're always dealing with people's ability to feel good. And we want people to feel good and motivated, as opposed to feel bad to try to motivate them. I think our, our, our new paradigm is how to help people feel good and be motivated. And that takes into consideration what are their needs. And when we understand from my books the differences between men and women, you realize that certain things are more important than men to cope with stress, certain things are more important to women to cope with stress. And when you know that, you create an environment which is able to counteract the high stress of our modern life today by being able to go to a workplace where you feel emotionally supported. Where you go to your, your uh, when you're in a store and you're buying a product, you know, how are you treated there? Does that, that determines why you go back to that store. People don't realize that. You know, people don't always say, I don't like the way you're treating me. They just don't come back to your store. This is just a reality, is that the, the progress we've made is fantastic. Equality is the basis of evolution. I mean, this higher level that we've gotten to. But with every new change, we have to work out what works and what doesn't work. And so we haven't worked out how to keep the stress levels down. And so what we see is, is the amount of burnout, amount of dissatisfaction, a lot of in, the, the amount of inefficiency uh, and the problems in, at home. Because when the workplace is so stressful, you bring that home. And, and then if you don't have personal relationship skills, all my many other books, that provides the foundation to, to come to the workplace without stress. Because there are certain stresses in the workplace that you go to your personal life to let them go, to forget them. So you come back rejuvenate. But the, the bottom line is, if women are not happy, they market your lousy company. If women are happy, they market your happy company, your great company. They are amazing, and they have all the money today. Uh, they're the ones that we need to make sure that the workplace becomes a better and better place for them. And, and not that it's a bad place for men. The idea is both people getting what they need in the workplace.